Hi everybody, this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Today we're talking about pears and I'm going to give a little bit of basic information about the different types of pears that are out there. I know a lot of us just when we're shopping we just reach for the same old, same old every single time and there might be other varieties of fruits and vegetables, even canned goods out there that you've never tried before. So I like to encourage people to try different things whenever they can, it's good. And in case in point, one time I had some red pears and my younger son said, oh, I'd like to try one of those. I've never had one. Well, they're available in the store a lot of times, but maybe not always. So I wanted to give a little bit of information to help you out. I apologize because I don't have a sample of all types of pears here to show you. That's the best I can do. They're not all available all the time. Bartlett pears are the ones that we most commonly see in the United States. They're very, very popular. Uh, that's the variety that's usually used in canning pears. They're kind of a yellowish green and may have speckles on them. Sometimes they're called Williams pears. We're all familiar with the taste of a Bartlett pear. Then there's Bosque pears. They have a cinnamon brown type of color to them with long tapered necks. They are not the most beautiful things to look at, but they have a honey-like complex flavor. So even though their appearance may not be lovely, it might be worth your trying some of those once in a while. There's also Comice pears. You'll see how it's spelled below. Uh, they're sometimes known as Christmas pears because they're the ones that are often included in gift baskets and boxes, and they're usually found in grocery stores during the Christmas season. And they're usually available from September through February or so. They're, they're round with a very short neck. They're green and sometimes might have a red blush on part of the skin. And there are some new strains of Comey's pears that are entirely red. So they're coming out with new ones all the time. Those pears are fragile. They bruise very easily, but they're very sweet, and they're soft, and they're juicy, and they go well with cheese, especially soft cheeses. So if you've never tried a Comice pear, when you see them in the market, give them a try. You may be sorry you hadn't eaten them sooner. Then there's Concord pears, and they're rather tall with a round bottom and a long tapered neck to them. And the flesh is sweet, dense, and firm, and juicy. And as they ripen, they will get slightly softer, and the flavor is going to mellow a little bit. But they're a relatively new type of pear, and they have a short season from only fall into December when they're sold out. So we may see more Concord pears in the future. They're just new on the market. Then we have Pharrell pears. These are green Dianjou pears. They're commonly referred to as Dianjou pears. And they're green with some red speckles on them. They're almost uh, like a bell shape to them, a relatively short neck. The flesh is moist and it's crisp. And they turn a little more yellowish as they ripen. The Dianjou pears are the second most recognizable pears that you'll find in the United States. So most of you have probably already eaten the Dianjou, green Dianjou pears or Pharrell pears. Then there's red Dianjou pears. And they're a lot like their green counterparts except that they have a rich reddish color in their skin. And they're usually available from September to October and into the, the summer months. And their flavor is very much like the green pears that we're uh, commonly finding, the Dianjou pears. And you can cut them up in a salad or with another food and the, the red peel adds a lot of appeal to a dish. Then we have red Bartlett pears and they're very much like the green Bartlett pears except their skin is red. When they're slightly underripe, they're crunchy and tart, but when they fully ripen, they're juicy and very, very sweet. So if you get a hold of a red Bartlett pear and you want to enjoy the, the full flavor of it, allow it to ripen up and enjoy it when it's fully ripe and it'll be nice and sweet for you. They're usually found in stores from September through December, so they have a relatively short shelf life there. And they're usually just labeled as red pears in the grocery store. 
Then there's sickle pears, and they're very small and kind of fat on the bottom with a, a short neck, and their skin is usually kind of an ugly olive green with some dark, dark uh, blush in there, and they're in season from September through February. They're small, and because they're small, they're often overlooked by shoppers, but they make a great snack or a little treat or a little dessert to pack in with your lunch if you have to pack your lunch, especially for children, because it's not going to be so big that it really, really fills them up. So they might make a, a lovely addition on a, in a fruit salad as well, and they could even be canned while they're whole as well. So you can enjoy a, a sickle pear like that. A star crimson pear is another type of red pear. They have a narrower neck than the red D'Anjou pears and they're very juicy and mild and sweet pears when they're ripe. They're great for snacking. You can dice them into salads as well and that red skin also lends a lot of color and beauty when you add it to other foods and in salads. They're usually available August through November. Well, I do hope that this helps you out and gives you a little insight as to some of the pears that are out there. And let me encourage you to try some different pears if you haven't already tried them when they're available. This is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Bye for now.